Hello and welcome back to my channel Fly High with Priya. So in this video I'll be discussing the summary of a piano lesson which is written by August Wilson. It was the play which set him as the leading playwrights in America. He became renowned and famous after writing this particular play. And this play won him Pulitzer Prize in 1990. As far as the play is concerned it has two acts. For act 1 has two scenes whereas act 2 has five scenes and as far as the theme is concerned then uh, this play shows the traumatized behavior of the individuals means they have gone through the slavery and that slavery has traumatized them internally and that they are not able to forget their past and concentrate on their present means they are not able to cope up with whatever is happening in the present and it is very beautifully picturized the main character around whom this whole play revolves uh, is boy Willie and uh, his sister Bernice boy Willie is 30 years uh, old boy and whereas his elder sister is 30, 30 34 something now the main characters uh, now the characters in the play are as I have already told boy Willie his sister Bernice, Uncle Docker, winning boy. Uncle Docker is a person uh, who always uh, means tells about the past, means past experiences. Uh, he is the one who introduces the present uh, with the past, you can say. And winning boy is a person who is the uncle of this boy, Willie and Bernice. And he is the one who uh, is stuck in past, means he is not able to live in uh, present or think about future. He is just always uh, thinking about the past and past glory means he was a singer at that time and he always thinks about that thing only means uh, his golden days uh, which are gone he thinks about that and talks about that then uh, there is a person or uh, you can say companion friend of Willie uh, uh, Willie and his name is Lyman and he's the one who accompanies him into the prison as well and then uh, there are minor characters uh, that is Maritha the, uh, the daughter of uh, Bernice and so let's uh, start with the summary of the play now as the play op opens what happens that Willie Boy and Lyman they come from Mississippi to Peter uh, Petersburg now this whole play is set up in Petersburg and the timing which is means it was written 1990 but the timing uh, which is presented or shown in this very play is of 1936 and uh, the depression after the slavery is described and as they reach it is dawn means about 5 o'clock uh, the time is about 5 o'clock in the morning and uh, what happens as they enter into the house everyone was sleeping so Willie just knocks the door and uh, Uncle Decker he gets up and he opens the door and he's quite surprised after seeing that boy because he was there in the prison for about three hour, uh, three years now why Willie and Lyman were uh, in prison it is described afterwards through the stories of different characters now uh, Uncle Decker tells that Bernice and everyone is sleeping so Willie, say, uh, Willie just is going to uh, wake her up, wake Bernice up so he says that please don't go but after that also he goes and wakes Bernice. Now Bernice is not happy after seeing uh, him because she does not like his brother and the reason is that he, she considers that she, he is the one who is responsible for the death of Crowley who is the husband of Bernice means she is a widow basically and uh, he just means there is a short conversation and he tells that the reason behind his arrival and the reason was that he wanted to sell uh, the piano as well as the truck which which he has brought of watermelon so means uh, he tells clearly and states that he'll be selling the piano now what is the story behind piano piano is uh, you know uh, is a legacy you can say that piano was brought uh, by the uh, person who uh, was the master in the slavery day days means this whole Charles family was the uh, were the slaves of Sutter and Sutter was the owner of this piano now what happens that uh, this Sutter wanted to uh, present a gift to uh, his husband uh, his wife sorry as an anniversary present and he was not having money he, were, he was having slaves so he sells a son and a lady to buy that piano and he finally buys it for his wife when he gifts her she's happy to see the piano but after some time she see, she misses the slaves those two slaves now uh, that she was very uh, sad about that thing and she falls ill so Sutter uh, just you know uh, he says uh, he just requests the great grandfather of uh, boy Willie that you can just uh, please can you uh, in car uh, 
inscribe the the pictures of that very lady and son onto that piano so he uh, just paints or you can say he just uh, inscribes the pictures of that lady and the son and apart from that whatever whoever means uh, he inscribes uh, the scriptures of all those you know uh, you can say puri pidiyon ki jo hai wo picture wo paint kar deta hai on the piano so that's why it was very close to uh, the charles family and how charles family got this they basically stole from sutter so when they stole the piano who uh, it was Char charles boy charles who is the father of boy willy he and his uncle winning boy they both stole stole and uh, they were caught and they were burned means their house was burned and somehow this piano was saved from burning and this is how they have got the piano now bernice considers it very near to her means she says that uh, his uh, his father her father has given his life for this piano and it couldn't be sold and should not be sold and willy boy willy he is uh, on the side of selling this piano and the reason is that he wants to buy the land of sutter and sutter was a person who was the owner Me means once they were slaves of that particular sutter and when he will buy that you know buy that land so he'll be able to uh, feel happy and relax that oh uh, means my ancestors had worked there and now i own that land so for that purpose he's uh, he's selling the piano and wanted to buy that particular land now as the play uh, means progresses what happens that they have a uh, very huge fight uh, between them and uh, after 3 days there is a scene seen shifts in and scene 2 it is uh, shown that after 3 days uh, winning boy and uncle decker they are sitting and they are talking and they describing different different incidents and uh, lyman also joins them and uh, there it is uh, means found out ya yeah, means uh, uncle decker tells that why they were in mississippi uncle decker tells that uh, this boy willy and lyman and crowley they were uh, means they had gone to woods to uh, steal something and as they were stealing they were caught and finally you know they ran but crowley didn't didn't run he just you know what he did he fought bravely and in that whatever fight he was killed and however those two boys they were later arrested and they were imprisoned and that's why they were in mississippi parchment uh, prison farm and after 3 years they are now released <coughs> now what happens uh, that this willy uh, this lyman he says that he wants to start a new life means he wants to escape from whatever has happened and he wants to uh, go to north and uh, means north is a symbol of prosperity means he will be able to live a good life there so he wants to go there after selling watermelons then the uh, there is a shift there is uh, you know a conversation between uh, avery and bernice now avery is the person he is a priest basically and uh, he can he just wants to marry bernice he thinks that bernice can forget ya yeah, overcome the death of her husband uh, if she moves on in her life whereas bernice feels that she is complete means her life is complete she does not need a man in her life Uh, she can live with the memories of crowley uh, he proposes to her means avery proposes to her she does not say anything and uh, instead of saying or answering anything she just says that there are ghosts in my house and please just you know uh, do some prayers so that these ghosts can run away and what are the ghosts now uh, in act 1 what has uh, happened that when they were talking about both sisters and after the arrival of willy as they were talking meretha shouts and she sees the ghost of sutter and meretha this bernice believes that willy is the one uh, who has killed sutter means he has thrown in uh, him in the well and that's why that sutter is there in their house there are different ghosts means uh, charles ghost is there yellow dogs uh, uh, ghost is there in that house so uh, she says that you please do some prayer so that uh, means peace can be there in our house and ghosts can uh, run away every does that uh, thing now as they were uh, talking uh, in the meantime what happens willy just finds a buyer for piano and he brings that buyer brings the, uh, and then suddenly there is a uh, you know the fight between the boy uh, the brother and sister and in the meantime what happens lyman uh, 
Benin boy just sells uh, the dress, means they, he was having a dress and he wanted some money. So he sells, uh, very shrewdly he sells this dress to Lyman and he says that if he'll wear these dress now, uh, this dress, so he'll wear, look very cool and uh, he can uh, woe any girl. So Lyman is very happy, he wanted a girl in his life. So he just purchases that uh, dress and he walks away. So when he goes in the evening, now, no means he found he finds no girl and he was very sad and he was sitting on the stairs. So uh, Bernice comes and there is a talk between, there is a conversation between Bernice and Lyman. And through that conversation, uh, we come to know about uh, the accusation which uh, Bernice puts on his uh, uh, brother and we come to know about Lyman's thoughts and there is a <coughs> a small kiss happens between them and this is how Bernice is able to move forward in her life means uh, she was after that conversation she was able to accept the death of Crowley and she decides that she will move on in her life now uh, as the ending approaches in the end what happens that uh, a virus there Billy's uh, Billy uh, just moves the piano and there is again the shout uh, of Meritha she has again seen the ghost of Sutter and uh, you know uh, what happens uh, that Bernice is not ready to sell this and she's again and again saying that it is the legacy you can't you should you are selling your soul if you're selling the piano don't sell it don't sell it and uh, this Willie is rigid and there are uh, you know appearances of ghosts there and finally this girl Bernice she plays the piano and uh, after the, those prayers also the ghosts haven't left the house so she uh, just you know uh, <clears throat> uh, she uh, decides to play the piano and when she plays the piano all the ghosts seem to you know fade away and the whole house becomes calm and really also means accepts that okay we will not sell this piano on this very note the, uh, on this very calm note that everything is calm willie is uh, not uh, means is not going to sell that piano and everything is okay bernice is now in a present moment she will live her life and uh, the ghosts are not there the play ends I hope the summary is very much clear to you all. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Jane se pehle. Do subscribe my channel and like my videos. Till then, bye-bye.